If you find that a specific keyboard shortcut is getting in the way, or it's conflicting with one of your other keyboard shortcuts, you can easily disable it using VS Code's Keyboard Shortcut Editor. Let's say, for example, I want to disable the keyboard shortcut for splitting editors, which is bound to Control Backslash or Command Backslash by default. To get started, I'm going to first open up my Keyboard Shortcuts Editor using the command palette. So I'll say Control Shift P or Command Shift P, and I'll say Open Key, and I want the Preferences Open Keyboard Shortcuts command here. When I run this, you can see that I have a list of all the various keyboard shortcuts and commands in VS Code. And in this case, I can actually start searching. So I'll say view split, because I know that I want the uh, view split editor command here. And you can see the command is showing up with the associated key binding. Now, if I didn't actually know the command that I was looking for, and I instead just knew the key binding, I can instead say something like command backslash and just type out the key binding itself, look through all the commands that have command backslash somewhere in their key binding, and then find the view split editor one down here. So again, this is the one that we want to disable, and I'm just going to right-click on it to actually disable it and say Remove Key Binding. And now after removing this, once I go back to the file over here and then try using the same command, so I'll say Control Backslash or Command Backslash, you can see that nothing is now happening. Now behind the scenes, what uh, removing the key binding is actually doing is updating this JSON file, which has a list of all the key bindings that we've configured. So if we go up here in the Keyboard Shortcuts file to go and view the JSON file over here, and I scroll down to the bottom, you can see that I have an entry here for command backslash, and it's listing out the command that it was going to be running. Now, the difference between when you go and add a key binding and when we remove a key binding is that it's using this little minus sign at the front to say that we are removing this key binding. So you can see for this one up here, for example, this is adding a new key binding, and it's just listing out the command. Down here, we have the uh, command that's being removed. So it's saying no longer include this key binding. So you could also just write out this, or you could also go and remove this key binding just by writing it out with the little minus sign at the front there. Removing a keyboard shortcut is especially useful if you have multiple extensions that contribute potentially conflicting keyboard shortcuts.